You guys, I got so sunburned on my trip to Michigan. Look at that. I was wearing like a tank top that you can actually work out in and it has thicker straps. Um, so yeah, even just having this little spaghetti strap on my skin hurts so bad. And yes, I really need to wash my hair or do something with it, but I am not feeling it today. I'm sitting here and I'm drinking this protein water. It is by Ready Nutrition. Have you tried it? This is really good. Um, it is pink grapefruit flavored and normally I don't like grapefruit just because it can be so strong but um, this is excellent um, it only has 70 calories zero grams of sugar and it has 15 grams of protein so um, I'm sitting here editing YouTube videos because like while I was in Michigan we didn't have good service um, because I was up in northern Michigan and the service there is a little sketchy so I didn't upload I didn't even bother to bring my laptop honestly because I knew that service was gonna be sketchy so um, I figured I would just like edit and upload videos um, when I got back but I did have like three videos scheduled while I was still in Michigan um, just so that I could stay consistent with videos because I don't want to get behind because I have like over 300 videos now that I need to edit. Um, so I am a little behind in editing, but I did a lot of filming and photography while I was in Michigan um, at the Pow Wow and other things. So those videos will eventually be, be put up on my channel. And um, it's good to be back home. Nursing school starts next week. Um, six days from now it starts so I'm kind of like psyching myself up for that and hoping for a good semester um, I'm taking three classes like I've said I think many times in different videos on my channel but oh, this sunburn is killing me this actually doesn't hurt this little part right here on my chest um, but my shoulders are what's killing me and if you notice I didn't really get sunburned that much on my sorry somebody was calling me I got like a little sunburned like in this area but not a lot and yes it looks like I have raccoon eyes but sorry somebody keeps calling me um I don't have raccoon eyes or black eyes or anything like that it's just the way that the sunburn was and then um I sleep with a sleep mask on the mornings after the night that I work so um yeah but anyways like I said I'm just sitting here editing videos and um, I'm watching YouTube videos like I have I add videos that I want to watch I'm really getting annoyed um I add videos that I want to watch to my watch later playlist and right now I'm like still back in May on this um, this channel that I'm watching right now so I'm on like May 1st and it's August 14th that I'm recording this so now I'm sitting here and I am going through and editing a bunch of the pictures that were taken um, on the Michigan trip and kind of uploading some of them to Facebook um, there was a lot a lot of pictures <laughs> to go through um, and I actually just got my insurance card for health insurance in the mail so I'm gonna take a break from editing pictures and I'm going to go to the um, bariatric surgery center website so then I can see if I am able to get weight loss surgery I'm really hoping that I am because that's what I've been waiting for this health insurance for I really want to do it because I feel like I need a little bit of help to reach my weight loss goals um, I've really been struggling lately so I'm going to put this information in hopefully they're able to get some information from my insurance company and cross your fingers that I'll be approved for weight loss surgery or at least some of their weight loss services um, before I'm able to get surgery because I know you have to go through like a different program or whatever in order for my insurance to eventually approve you for surgery so we will see. 
So I just got a comment on the YouTube video that I put up today, which is titled, I don't know, it's a CNA rant about not answering call lights. But anyway, um, the person was asking me why in that video I'm wearing a stethoscope around my neck. So I thought that I should clarify. No, most CNAs do not need to use stethoscopes, although some CNAs do utilize stethoscopes to do blood pressures and things of that nature, um, vitals, basically. Um, I am also a student nurse, so I'm not just a CNA. Um, I kind of hate that people call us just a CNA, but she was asking me why I'm wearing doctor's equipment around my neck, um, being a CNA, and, um, you know, nurses use stethoscopes as well, and, um, some CNAs also do use stethoscopes. If the blood pressure machine is not working, um, that automatically takes the blood pressures, um, certain areas, CNAs are responsible for getting vital signs and things like that for the nurse. It just depends on the facility that you work in. Um, and please don't take this as me like being rude or, you know, condescending to you in any way. I just thought that I would explain it because I guess, you know, when I made the video with me wearing the stethoscope around my neck, I didn't really think about explaining it. Um, and the only reason why I had it around my neck is because I didn't want to forget it in the car. Um, I don't like leaving stethoscopes and um, things that I use for work or on a regular basis in the car um, because I don't want them to get stolen. So that's why, um, no I'm not a doctor, I am a student nurse and I am currently working as a CNA on the night shift. So I just thought that I would clarify that in case that question came up for anybody else. <laughs> I don't know why this camera makes it look so dark. It's really not, um, but we made pizza for dinner, homemade pizza, um, with crust from Aldi, pizza sauce from Aldi, cherry tomatoes, turkey, and pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and I think that's it. But it was really good. Um, it was very flavorful. And now I'm sitting here drinking water. And um, that's probably going to be it for today's vlog. I know it was a short one, but my sunburn is really, really hurting. Um, this is probably the worst sunburn I've ever had um, in my entire life. It hurts really bad on my shoulders. Like, if anything touches my shoulders, even if it's just hair, if my hair touches my shoulders, it hurts very badly. So... Um, I'm probably going to take some ibuprofen and try to go to sleep, and I have to work tomorrow night, so hopefully my arms are feeling better by then. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video.